Matthew chapter 6, 16 to 18, um, Jesus is teaching on fasting. How interesting he started with when you fast. It's not if, it's a when. Meaning in your Christian walk, in your relationship with the Father, fasting is not an if, it's a when. And like we said in the introduction, the best of the when of fasting should be determined by the Holy Spirit. It's okay to want to fast, but it's always the best to be led by the Spirit of God or to be led by the leadership of your church or your little group or to be led as a whole. Now, when we start talking about fasting, one of the most uh, questions that I've heard when I teach or explain how to fast is um, I feel hungry when I fast what do I do when I feel hungry when I fast how can I handle hunger during fasting we're going to be looking at that um, before we look at that in a detailed way put it in your mind that there's a level of the anointing that you will not be able to walk in if you don't learn how to fast or worst or best still if you do not fast at all fasting is um i can say is like a lubricant to your christian work it's like a lubricant to your walking and the fruits and the gifts the fruit and the gifts of the holy spirit it just fine tune your 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 hearing in the realms of the spirit like nothing else we do, and remember we said we're not doing starving. We're not fasting here. Is not staying without food and just be without food. No, it's staying without food, reading the word and praying. That's why the duration when it comes to fasting is not the big thing. The biggest thing when it comes to fasting is what you are doing. Meaning you're staying without the food, yes, and then you're praying and you're reading the word. It's better to do a two-hour fast and be effective than to do a one-week fast that you're not effective. In that case, you're doing self-deception. You're deceiving your own self and that's not necessary. What are we saying uh, um, this morning? What are we taking away from this morning teaching? We're taking away the fact that fasting is a wind. Make up your mind to fast often. Make up your mind to set uh, um, week, a week apart, a day apart, three hours apart, just to stay without food, pray, and talk to the Father. So why do we get hungry when we fast? It's part of it. It has to be that way. You will be hungry when you stay without food. The physical body needs food. So make up your mind. Know it for sure that when you get into a fasting, you will get hungry. What do you do when you get hungry? You don't eat. You read the word. The word has the ability to bring down the hunger level that might want to come up when you're fasting that's the reason we read the word because it has the power to not cause hunger to overcome you that's why we talk to daddy when you stay in in, in prayer when you pray uh, when you study the word during fasting the hunger that might want to overcome the fasting will be subdued so our takeaway is we need to fast it's a when it's not an eve number two you will be hungry when you fast but you don't have to eat number three when when three or four when you begin to feel hungry when you read the word and you're praying you will not feel as much uh, of the hunger like you will if you were not praying and reading the word so therefore make up your mind as the holy ghost often or better still when the holy ghost leads you to fast don't start thinking about the hunger don't start wondering how it's gonna go just say yes receive the grace and do the fasting god bless you you will see great changes in your life um in your walk with god as you fast grace to fast in jesus name amen